I'm going to. Uh, he told me I had to stand back here. Good afternoon. It is just my delight as president of this institution to welcome our dear friends from Oakwood University. Uh, this has been a long time coming, and, and Mr. Tim Austin and others know exactly what I'm talking about. But we have been in, in I guess, in, in what, working on this project for quite some time. And we're just at a point where we know we need to make this official. Um, we're so excited about the relationship that we have with Oakwood University. Uh, this is a very interesting city. Uh, you know, as a child, I lived in, in, a, in a city where we had uh, a community college. And I've always thought how exciting it is to be in a city with many institutions of higher ed. It just seems to broaden the, the, the horizons of, of that particular place. And Huntsville is, in my assessment, of that genre. And so we have one of our uh, fine institutions here this afternoon to share with us in a collaborative spirit. And, and as I stated earlier, something that we've been trying to bring to fruition for some time. Even though you're not visitors, those of you sitting out in the audience, <laughs> you're, you're here as colleagues and employees of this institution, and I'm delighted that you could come and have an opportunity to hear from the president of Oakwood University and talk about things that we're going to do together, things that will ultimately benefit our students. And we all know how engaged we are in that process of making life better for our students. So this is one more opportunity for us to expand the, the activities, the, the opportunities for our students to grow and develop into wonderful citizens in this country. So you are, we are so delighted that you're here, just very pleased. And, and Tim, I believe you're going to make some comments as well. Thank you and good afternoon. My name is Tim Alston. I'm the Director of Public Relations at Oakwood University. I'm glad to be here working with my colleague, Ms. Lisa Burton, the Director of Public Relations here at J.F. Drake State Technical College. One of the things we know in our country is the fact that we are witnessing to sad numbers the divorce rate in this country. Whereas back in 1900, one out of every 20 couples uh, ended in divorce. Now the figure is one in every two. One of the problems is that marriages are happening at such a young age. Well, the opposite is going to happen here today. <laughs> what we have here is Drake State Technical College, which is 51 years old, and Oakwood University, which is 115 years old. We think when a 51-year-old and a 116, 115-year-old get married, <laughs> they should have every chance of having a good marriage and a good survival in their marriage, and a fruitful marriage. But enough from me. Let's hear it from the best man and the best woman, the bride and the groom of this relationship. Wow. We heard from Dr. McGalfine. Now let's hear from the groom, Dr. Leslie Potter. I, I have a well. lot to say about what you said. Wait till you get to my that, that numbers. Metaphor is, yeah, yeah, that metaphor it begs to be milked, doesn't it? Well, uh, from the Oakwood University side, we are delighted to be partnering with our sister institution, Drake. Um, one of the things we know about the future is that as we walk into the future, we have to walk in holding hands, hand in hand. And that partnership really is the key to progress. There is no institution that has the resources to be self-sustaining and to stand on its own. It's only as we share our strengths and our history that we're able to, to, um, to create the kind of future that we all desire. So from the Oakwood side, this is really exciting. And in many ways for us, as I mentioned to Dr. McAlpine, um, our institution 106 years ago, 115 years ago in 1896, um, that was the vision. The vision was that students would be able to not only receive intellectual and spiritual culture because of faith base, um, but also to understand how to have workable skills. You know, one of the things I like when I come over to Drake, I always see the sign, our graduates work. And again, uh, early, early, early education at Oakwood was based upon that very same premise. And that was common in the 1800s. I mean, Tuskegee and a number of other institutions were founded around that premise. So now for us, in many ways, this is like coming full circle to figure out how we can do this in the 21st century. So I'm here with Dr. Garland Doolin, our Vice President for Academic Affairs, 
here with our colleague, Dr. Sims, who has so much to offer and so much to think about and to say and vision around this process. So at Oakwood, we're excited. We think that this is just the beginning of some really, really great things. And when you have a May-December marriage, who knows what can come out of that? <laughs> who knows what can come out of that? But we think that this is going to be something very fruitful for both of our institutions, and we welcome this partnership. Thank you, Dr. Pollard. Uh, let me comment on, on Tim's uh, remarks so we can put it in perspective. Back in, I, I went back and found the, the presentation in 2008. I spoke at Oakwood University. I can't remember, Tim, if it, if it I think it was an in-service of sorts. But anyway, I, I went back and found the topic, a marriage that was meant to be. Well, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> but I said in my, in my comments, we're joining our missions to provide effective educational opportunities for students. And we are concerned about the sanctity and beauty of marriage. And so I pro proposed at that time marriage to Oakwood University. <laughs> I, I even <laughs> talked about it. I mean, I had PowerPoint and all things we <laughs> wish we had known as newlyweds, and that was date one another, talk to one another, have fun and enjoy one another. Your job cannot hurt your marriage. Let go of past hurts and draw the lines with your in-laws. <laughs> and I will, <laughs> I will not go into all of the comments that I've made relative to that, but I, I, I concur with, with Dr. Paula that this is an exciting day for us. And it's just right for us to do it. And as those of you here, Drake, know, we have articulation agreements with Alabama A&M University and Athens State. And it's fitting and proper that we expand that to include Oakwood University. As I stated earlier, this is a marvelous city with so many opportunities for, for learning. And so we now today open up a whole new venue of opportunities for our students. And that makes us exciting, makes it very exciting for us. One of the things I have to mention to, to you two gentlemen, these individuals know it, but in this whole process of uh, articulation agreements, uh, I have to mention today the real importance of faculty. Mm -hmm. uh, it has been our experience as we work with articulation agreements to ensure that students are re receiving quality education. Mm -hmm. We can articulate very successfully mm -hmm. from Drake, and our students will be able to go from Drake mm -hmm. into your institution with the appropriate training. And so I want to, in the presence of these individuals today, several of our division chairs, say how proud I am of what you do as faculty and staff, and then to ensure these institutions of higher ed that we really are training appropriately students here at Drake. So I say to you two gentlemen, you're going to have some very fine students coming to you, you. because they are the products of a very fine faculty and staff. Thank you. So we're excited, we're glad today to put our names on the dotted lines and just, just go ahead and get married. We plan no divorce. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't believe in divorces here. Thank we you. sanction marriages, so Thank we're you. so excited. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you doctor. <laughs> I guess that would make me the maid of honor, correct? <laughs> <laughs> okay, along with the marriage scene, okay? That's right. So I guess I'm going to have some input on the marriage. We are excited. We're excited about this agreement with Oakwood University. And we're delighted to provide for our students an additional pathway for which to pursue their goals. This agreement will be very beneficial to our students because it will allow all of our students who complete an associate's degree here with us, regardless of their program of study the opportunity to further their education without having to lose credits or repeat coursework. Mm -hmm. And for our students, that translates into affordability and dollars saved, and we're excited about that. It also broadens our students' access, ensures that they have additional pathways to, their, to achieve their goals, because we do, we believe, Dr. Pollard, in our motto, our graduates work. Mm -hmm. And so this agreement reaffirms that commitment and that it's another tool for our students to utilize as they achieve their dreams. So thank you. We're excited about working with this partnership. Thank you. 
I guess it's my time as best man. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> to offer a toast. <laughs> to offer a toast. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well. That's right. <laughs> In reviewing the agreement, I went back through it again and found that we have 67 courses mm -hmm. that are part of the, this articulation agreement and eight subject matter areas. And I was pleased to see that we have 16 courses in humanities, um, 22 courses in math and natural science areas, 15 in social sciences, we have two in the health area, we have three in accounting, we have one in office systems management, three in commu computer information systems, and five in food science. And all of these together make up the 67 courses of articulation. And the agreement states that there may be others as we go along that we find that will also be part of the articulation. And so we are thrilled that there are so many areas of agreement between Drake State and Oakwood already as we begin this partnership. And so as best man, I would just like to say I'm pleased <laughs> to be part of this marriage ceremony. <laughs> Thank you. I think we are ready to sign. Okay. Is that it, Mr. Hall? You, have, you, brought, <laughs> you brought a better looking pen than I did, oh. so <laughs> I'm going to get my junk off the table, so for Photoshop. I guess I'll, I'll yeah, sign you here. Go. Oh, and I, I guess I need to put the date. <laughs> Today's date is the? 19th. 19th. It's just flying. And you realize that is oak wood. That the <laughs> pen was made out of oak wood. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Where's the wedding cake? <laughs> We have refreshments, and uh, thank you all so much for attending. And thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. It's our honor. Thank you.